say hot. Open it like this. Stare it like a bread. Look. Yummy. Hi guys, it's Nicole. Today, during quarantine, I will be baking cheese roll. These are the ingredients. Cheddar ch um, cheese, I'll tell you the measurements later. Milk, bread flour, butter, all-purpose flour, Grab sugar, salt, and breadcrumbs. No, that's not breadcrumbs. What is this? That's um, yeast. Oh yeah, yeast. We need eggs as well. Yeah, and three eggs. And, and some water. And some water. Okay. Uh, here are the following ingredients. Two and one third cup of all-purpose flour. Mm -hmm. Two and one third cup of bread flour. One teaspoon of yeast, two seven tablespoons of granulated sugar, two teaspoons of salt, one third cup of milk, three whole eggs, one half of one half cup of unsalted butter. Half a cup. Oh, yeah, yeah, half, half a, a cup. cup. And cheddar cheese for filling. Okay, so let's get started. This is one one cup of all-purpose flour. Put it in the back more. So next, I'm putting seven teaspoons, tablespoon, tablespoon of, of sugar. I don't know. Four? I don't know. How much did you put? Probably three. Three, okay. your eggs you have to wa wash them and dry them because of the salmon salu salmonella sal salmonella you don't want salmonella on your bread make sure you dry it well mm -hmm. so this is three three free range eggs because yeah. it's more healthy okay mix your mix the ingredients first before you okay. add that we normally put Put uh, no, salt, salt after the 30 minutes process. I'll show you how and the procedure. You put the, the, the flour, what is that there? All purpose flour and bread flour. And then sugar. Sugar, yeah. Then you mix it well. Mix it well. And then next you add your eggs. Eggs. Okay, add your eggs now. Okay. Now I'm gonna add 
add half a cup. No, one third cup. One third cup of milk. Of milk. And another. And some water. It's one third. Now I'm gonna slam it with my hands. Yeah, start mixing it with my hand. Okay. And take off the spatula. Okay. Did you wash your hand? Yeah, when I crack the eggs. We'll mix it all. The reason we don't add the salt and the yeast yet is we want to um, mix all this first because so we, we don't do much um ano yun? pagmasa yeah so you don't um, have to knead it enough yeah so we do it last you can always add a bit more um, liquid because some flour matapu ng ano it's more liquid. Once, once all the ingredients are fully combined and turned into a bowl, Rough ball. Yeah, in a, into a rough ball. Let it sit. Cover it with cling film or, or whatever you can cover it with for 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, cover it. Okay. Oh, she's going to wash her hands. Yeah. Okay, so now the dough is completely covered. And now we're going to let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes. A few moments later. Okay, now we have let, let the dough set for 30 minutes and you, as you can see the, the gluten has has formed, it's not that sticky anymore. Show them the window pane. Now we're gonna add in the... Now we're gonna add in the yeast. Did you add milk in this? It's milk already. Okay. Oh, now we're gonna pour it in. Okay. Mix it. We're gonna do the um, cut and fold. Okay, now we're gonna do the cut. Cut like this, and like then you fold. The cut and then fold. Yeah. Cut. It's so hard. Mm. This is an autolist method. <laughs> so now we're using the cut and fold method to combine the, the, dough. the yeast and the water in the dough. We're gonna add the salt. Now, now. we're gonna add the salt. Keep doing it. So yeah, we have to keep um, doing this method, the cut and fold, for five minutes until it's completely combined. And guys, it's very hard work. I'm gonna help you. Yeah, okay. You like doing it? Yeah. It's fun. A few moments later. This is our dough now. We have transferred it into a surface so it's easy to 
made for Nicole. Well done. A few moments later. Okay, so our dough is ready and it's rised a lot and it's very, very soft at the top. So, yeah. Start kneading it. And start kneading it now. Oh. Whoa, look at that. Wow, look how soft. As you can see, it's so soft. Okay. We're gonna cut it into four. Cut into four? Yeah. The other side. Like that? No, this. Oh. Divide it into four. Can you do it? Yeah. Don't make it big. That's Okay? Mm -hmm. We're gonna flatten it with a rolling pin. Then, then add the cheese. And then add cheese. Into a, into a bowl. Now we're gonna flat. I'm gonna cut the cheese, and then after I've done that, I'm gonna roll it, roll it flat. Then I'm gonna put the cheese on the top. See you later. Now we're gonna make it into like a cylinder. Bit. Okay. Yeah, just fold it inside. Seal it with this. Seal it. And then okay, can put it in our baking tray. There you go. So I'm then rolling it and put, putting in the cheese. 
Now we have to let it sit for 40 minutes and then we will spread some brush, the milk. brush it with milk and on top put before we put it in the oven. Yeah. How many have you done? We have made 20, 20 about roughly 20. She's wrong. Okay, let's wait for 40 minutes. A few moments later. So now I am white. I am gonna brush milk. Brush milk on the bread. <laughs> this is ready. Yeah. It's been 40 minutes. Yeah, it has been 40 minutes. Ah, Cassie girl. <laughs> she wants to go in the video. So. This is our first time, so some popped, <laughs> some cheese popped, but it's the, it's fine. Okay, a bit more. And then get the sugar. Okay. I'm gonna sprinkle some sugar. You know, the sugar is there already. I already. Oh, ready. Sprinkle some sugar. Product. It looks very yummy. Why don't you try it at home? It's very easy, but it may take a long, a long time. But it's very yummy and worth it. Thank you guys for watching.